Okay, next question. Ask us to find a line through the point 712 parallel to the line 2x minus 5y equals 14. Now, what does it mean for a line to be parallel to another? It means that their slopes are going to be identical. Lines are parallel if their slopes are the same. Okay, so we want to find a line through 712 whose slope is equal to this one. Okay, well, so the slopes have to be equal. The slope of this line, as you can easily verify by solving for y, is 2 fifths. That's all we need to know about the line is the slope. Uh, then we want the equation of a line parallel to that, so we want through the point 712. So we want a line of slope 2 fifths through the point 712. We do our fundamental triangle, very easy to do, have the rise y minus 12, x minus 7, the fundamental triangle for 712 and point x, y. We know then that this slope, uh, that, that uh, if this line is to have the given slope, then this expression for the slope has to equal this, which means again that y minus 12 over x minus 7 has to equal 2 fifths. We solve this for y and we get the equation of the line. Okay, I'll solve that for y in a minute. But this solves the problem. All you got to do is multiply through by x minus 7, add 12 to both sides, and you have it. Okay, what about a perpendicular line? Now, people didn't remember this. People were pretty good to come up with the idea that uh, you have to have equal slopes to have a line parallel. Okay, somebody said, well, it's a reciprocal. And that was a pretty good answer. Uh, since it came out of the blue and he didn't have time to review or anything, but it's the negative reciprocal. So make sure you understand that the slope of the perpendicular line is the negative reciprocal. Um, so the negative reciprocal of the slope of this line is negative 5 halves. The reciprocal is 5 halves. The negative of that is negative 5 halves. So in that case, our slope from 712 to xy is going to have to be negative 5 halves. So we have y minus 12 over x minus 7, which is the slope from 712 to xy, set equal to negative 5 halves, and we solve that for y. I'll go ahead and write down those solutions. And here I've written the solutions. They're kind of small, might be a little hard to read. Uh, but if I multiply both sides of this equation by x minus 7, I get y minus 12 equals 2 fifths x minus 7. And then I distribute the 2 fifths. I get 2 fifths x minus 14 fifths, because 2 fifths times 7 is 14 fifths. And then I add 12 to both sides. 12 is 60 fifths. And if I add 60 fifths to four, negative 14 fifths, I end up with 46 fifths. So I get y equals 2 fifths x plus 46 fifths. The other equation. Uh, multiply both sides here by x minus 7. I get y minus 12 is negative 5, 6 times x minus 7. Distributing, I get negative 5 halves x plus 35 halves, 5 times 7 being 32 divided by 2, negative times negative being positive. I add 12 to both sides. 12 is 24 fifths. 24 and 35 is 50, 12 is 24 halves. 24 and 35 is 59, so I get 59 halves, and of course the negative 5 halves x. So there are the solutions, there are the slope-intercept forms of these equations, and if you were to graph them, uh, you would see that it's very plausible that the graphs, uh, that, that those points go through 712s and that the lines are indeed perpendicular.